Hey guys, I want to try something a little different this evening. Um, I'm going to try what's called drunk pecking. I've, uh, I am on my ninth uh, 16 ounce Keystone Ice. And what I have in front of me are all the locks I've already picked for you guys. And my homemade pick and tension wrench. I also have needle nose pliers in case I need to straighten out my pick or tension wrench in the middle of this video. Now, unlike my other videos, this one will have to be edited because I don't think I can pick all these locks in the nine minutes that my camera will record. So I'm going to have to do one lock, shut the camera off, pick up the next one, turn the camera on, do that one, so on and so on. You get it. Um, I don't want to have to do it that way, but I just, I have a feeling that Brinks is going to give me some real trouble this time. And I want to give it the full, what, 9 minutes and 40 seconds that my camera will record. Now, we're going to start with the master because that is the easiest lock I've ever done. Well, it's the first lock I've ever done, or second. But it is the easiest, even easier than the mountain security generally. Bottom of the keyway. I will be using bottom of the keyway on all these. And, uh... We're just gonna work back this one kind of slowly. Then we're gonna zip it a couple times and in. Um, so the master lock took me no extra time at all. So uh, I'm gonna move on to the mountain security in one cut. I don't think I have to uh, edit this. Straightening out my tension bar. And let's try in for the mountain security. Now this one's a little bit harder to get tension on because if you look at the warding, you see how small that warding is. It's, it's a little weird. And it really does cause trouble for getting tension on it. If I get it just right, I think I got it. And again, this this lock takes extremely light tension and zip it once I got a fault set but I know for a fact because I've tried it I cannot zip this twice to get a deeper fault set it just doesn't work but if you SPP it just a little pin two and three mainly that opens as well all right now here I'm going to introduce a cut I'm going to straighten my tools and I'm going to bring the brinks in. Um, I just want to give myself the full 9 minutes and 40 seconds or whatever my camera will record to get into this brinks because I think I'm going to have trouble with it. Alright, here we go. Time to try the brinks. This thing is, um, it actually is a little bit tougher than I let on earlier. When I got into it earlier, even though I did it twice in a 3 minute video, the other, that was kind of luck. The other couple times I did it, it took me upwards of two minutes. So we're going to see what it takes me now, being drunk, or mostly drunk. Obviously, I have to SPP this. It's got spools. I cannot rake it. I cannot zip it. So here we go. I know pin one will have nothing for me right now, just from experience. So we'll start way back with pin 5. A little bit of fault set already on pin 5. I think my biggest problem is I tend to put too much tension on once I've got a fault set. And that makes it a little more difficult to get other pins. Still nothing on pin one. Pin two. I think that's pin two. Wait a minute. No, there's pin two. Counter rotation, but no click. All right, let me start over here. Well, I didn't release tension, so I'm not truly starting over, but. That might have been two. 
Oh, yep, deeper fault set. I think I got number two. Now pin one seems to be binding or not. Oh, yeah, this lock, this is definitely the toughest thing I've ever dealt with. Of course, I've only dealt with four locks and only three on video, but, you know. Yeah, I am not sure I'm going to be able to get into this one, guys. I just got one to set, which was a little, that's out of order. Counter rotation on four. Oh, four is set, but I lost something else. Not one, not two, three. Holy crap, I managed to do it. Um, yeah, I think it took me a little longer. Uh, yeah, it looks like it took me about five minutes instead of, uh, what, 30 seconds or so. But I did still get into it. Um, moral of the story is, if your thief is going to be drunk, buy one of these because you'd catch him before he got in. Um, I think that's all for tonight, and uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, subscribe, please, and uh, yeah, have a good one.